Unit 25, listening. Hello, hi Darren. Yeah, look, it's Andy. I'm in Saddles. Can you come and drive me home? Well, I, where I, in the city center. You know, Dad gave me some money last week and wanted to buy a pullover. Well, it's a bit late. I want to eat. Oh, come on. I just had a really bad experience. What? What's going on? It's like I was just nearly arrested. Awful. You want to buy some clothes? What have you done now? Well, first I went to the temple, you know, the big clothes store. Yeah, and I looked at pullovers and I got one. And then I decided to get a shirt too. But after I looked at them, I wasn't sure. I went to a couple of other places to see what they had. A friend told me they were selling some quite cool ones in the market. But when I asked them, the man who runs the store said he'd sold them all already. And I bought some shoes and went to the burger bar because time for lunch. Okay. Then I went back to Tempo and found some shirt I liked. And I said to the assistant I wanted to try them on. And she said it was okay. That they weren't any good, so I told the assistant they didn't fit, and he put them back on the shelf. They didn't have any other sizes in stock. Then, when I was going to the shop, this woman came up to me. She asked me if I was leaving the shop. I said I was. She asked me if I paid for everything in my bag. I said I had, because I knew I don't think I pulled up or bought earlier, and shoes. Right. She said she was the store detective, and then she asked me if I would come to the manager's office with her. And I agreed, although I added this, I wasn't very happy about it. If I was looking at me, it was really bad. I believe you. In the manager's office, the store detective showed the manager the pullover, and the manager asked me how long I'd been in the shop, and how many things I had bought. So I told them I bought a blower at about 9.30, but I hadn't bought anything else. I was getting a bit angry. I asked what is going on. Then he asked me whether I had a receipt for the pullover. And of course, I couldn't find it. And I tried to explain I'd thrown with the sample bag and I put the pullover in the shoe shop bag. Oh, Andy. Well, I didn't know, but anyway, they didn't believe me. There's more questions, like, like what? There's me which sister that served me. I said I do remember it served me. It's a bit early in the morning. Then the store detective asked the manager if he wanted to call the police, and he said yes. Oh no, but then my luck changed. One of the assistants came into the room and I recognized her. She was the one that stopped me in the morning. I was too if she remembered me and she did. Oh, I've never felt so happy in my life. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so where are you now? I'm in the divorce. He said you're sorry for troubling me and he told me I was welcome to use his phone. Can you come and give me a lift home? There are too many people at the bus stop at this time. I'm really tired and I haven't got enough money for a taxi. Sure, I'll be ten minutes. See you outside Denver. Oh, thanks, Darren.